Hello world and welcome. Today I will talk about a really interesting topic. Um, today I'm using a neural net, especially um, the neural profit, and I want to predict a Bitcoin course or how the price of one Bitcoin will be um, going for the next um, days or week or so. So if you want to see more of this content, then hit the subscribe button or leave a like or comment there. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I'm importing the libraries, which are necessary for the neural profit. And then I'm loading the data, uh, which I found actually in Yahoo Finance, where you can find the Bitcoin um, closing price. Uh, and I was plotting it for the last uh, five years. And first of all, you have to uh, make sure that you do some data preparation and so on, uh, because um, the columns has to be renamed, um, that the neural profit has only the DS and the Y column. So the data, for, data X and the value itself. Then we are training the model here. And um, for this, I'm using the neural profit where I was um, using this hyperparameters, like seasonality, you have uh, the number of legs. So it means is he's going to go uh, seven days back in the um, past. The batch size and number of hidden layers you can adjust, the number of epochs and so on, um, the learning rate. And then I'm plotting here the mean absolute error and the uh, root maps mean absolute error, which you can find here and see um, how it looks like. And um, after that, you're creating some uh, data frames. For instance, if you want to do a forecast, here we are. Um, here you can also as well as plot the um, forecast, but in general, um, here we are only plotting a prediction. And um, But if you want to do a forecast, you can as well um, do um, how much um, days you want to go in the future. You can adjust it here in this hyperparameter periods, and then you can plot it as well. So you can use the um, uh, plot function from our profit, which looks like this. So you can see that the Bitcoin price was going up around about two uh, 2021, 2022, then beginning it was dropping a little bit, but now you can see it's going a little bit. It's stabilizing, maybe it's going down up, hopefully. Um, and then you can see that the um, prediction was really good only after 100 epochs and our profit is really easy going so you can adjust everything really easily is uh, the training is going to be fast as well and you can also um, plot the parameters here like the trend which you can see the 20 uh, 21 was going up and then you can see the changing rate the trend rate changing rate so it was dropping as well 2022 then you can see, for instance, um, at the month of um, November, it's going up. So in the summertime, the price is dropping in general. And here you can see that the, on the daily base, you can, uh, if you want to buy Bitcoin, do it best at Thursday of around about Friday. So at this um, phase here, there's a big drop. And you can also um, use the plotly function to plot, let's say, the um, error, which you can see here, the root mean square error, mean absolute error, how uh, it's going to be um, shown. And then you can also use the plotly function to, um, you know, show the original data and the prediction itself. And um, yeah, if you want to save the model, you can just um, use the pickle to dump the model and then you can um, save it. And after a while you can, of course, 
use it again. So I would say the runner profit is really good for time series data. You can use it as well and try it, try it by yourself. And hopefully you like this uh, content today and yeah, see you soon.